in this video i will tell you about the mathematics behind this term frequency and inverse document frequency and in short we know that tf idf tf idf tells about the importance of a word in a document and it is calculated as tf idf is equal to tf multiplied by idf tf is the term frequency here d is the term or the word and d is the document so we calculate the term frequency as number of times the term t appear in a d divided by total number of t in d means the total number of words in d or total number of terms in d so for example we have uh, two word documents which is a d1 i am good and d2 which is you are good okay so how to calculate the term frequency as i told you in that formula put i in place of t so comma document d is d1 which is i am good so term frequency of i comma d1 is equal to will be number of times term t appear in d so how many times the, the term i is appear in the documents only one time okay and the the total number of term in d so so what is the what is what is the total number of terms so we have 1 2 3 3 so we have 1 2 3 three terms are there so so the term frequency will be 1 by 3 likewise when we calculate the term frequency for the for that term m which is again the same because m is appearing one time here and the total number of term is 3 so that's why it is 1 by 3 again term frequency for the good in d1 will be 1 by 3 because good is appearing one time and uh, the total number of words is 3 or total number terms is 3 so that's why it is 1 by 3 and in another example we have taken another document which is you are good again term frequency for the you in document d2 will be 1 by 3 because one time is appear in the document d2 and the total number of words or terms in the document is 3 so that's why it will be 1 by 3 likewise we can calculate for the r r is appearing one time and the and the total number of terms in that document which is d2 which is 1 2 3 3 3 so that's why 1 by 3 so likewise the term frequency for good is again 1 by 3 because the good is appearing one time here and the total number of terms are 3 so in that way uh, we can calculate the we calculate the term frequency for each term appearing in a particular document so to calculate the inverse document frequency which is idf which is calculated for each term okay which is calculate for each term t so we can calculate the uh, inverse document frequency for each term t is the, the formula is log base 2 total number of document divided by number of document containing term t so likewise we have calculated the term frequency for each term here we can calculate the uh, we calculate the inverse document frequency by using this formula uh, for i so for i we have log 2 is here okay and, and the total number of documents so the number of documents is 2 d1 and d2 so that's why i have written here 2 and 2 by 1 1 is number of document containing term c t so how many uh, times a term i is appearing in the document it is only one time so that's why it's come, up, come out to be log 2 2 uh, will be 1 so likewise we can calculate the idf for m which is again 1 because uh, we have two documents d1 and d2 and uh, the the m is appearing only one time because the in a one document okay and that's why it's come out to be one again when we calculate for the good so good is uh, log base 2 so we have the total number of documents are the same for this so that's why we have put here 2 2 2 and then for the second uh, document when we are calculating the 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 inverse document frequency for u r and good which is again The, the the number of documents is 2 so here again uh, 
why it is two because uh, two the is the total number of documents and here we have the document containing term t so term is good so in 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 both of the document d1 and d2 the good is present in both the documents so that's why uh, we we are saying we, we are putting here two okay so two by two is one so log one is zero so so in that way we can calculate the inverse document frequency for each of the term appearing in all the documents okay so now so what will be the tf idf score so tf idf score if when we calculate for the d1 for the d1 document will be tf idf for i uh, which is a term appear in uh, in this uh, document one because the the document is i am good so for i we have calculated the term frequency so term frequency we have calculated with which was 1 by 3 okay so we have calculated above here you can see this is okay so we have calculated the term frequency for i in the document which is 1 by 3 and it is multiplied by the inverse document frequency which is which is here okay so it is 1 so when we multiply 1 by 3 uh, into 1 which is 1 by 3 and the the tf dive score will be 0 0.33 this okay so likewise we can calculate for each term appearing in the document present in that document so tf idf for the m document will be 1 by 3 into 1 which is same 0 0.333 and tf idf for good will be 1 by 3 into 0 because here we can see that for in that document particular document we have calculated the inverse document frequency for good which is log 2 2 by 2 and which is 0 which comes out to be 0 because the 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 good is appearing in both the documents so that's why we have put here 2 and the and the this 2 is because the total number of documents okay so that's why it has come out to be 0 so in that way we can calculate the tfi tf score for each term in a in in the document okay so that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching thank you very much and in the next video we will see that how can we um, implement this uh, using the tf idf vectorizer